Hi guys, welcome back to my video tutorial. Uh, for today's video, I'm gonna show you how to uh, validate the uh, text fields or the value that we are going to input. So, uh, for example, if we're going to input the first number, let's say uh, 1 or any numerical number, and then if we uh, input the character or Alphabet, alphabetical character it should uh, it should not allow you to enter that uh, character so I'll, let me show you how to uh, co code first uh, let me create a module um, here uh, add new item then uh, select for a module then name it whatever uh, you like uh, for me I will uh, leave it as the default name so click on add then in the module uh, we're going to put this function for the only numeric character Let's copy this and paste in this uh, module code. So it should be numeric only. So let's uh, copy this uh, commented code to the form. By the way, this is the public function, so we we can call this. Uh, function uh, everywhere in the forms so let's um, go to the form and then double click the text box so let's put the code so let's change the text change uh, to the key press so let's change it from text change to key press yeah, to key press then put the code this code so this will call the public function that we uh, declared here this is the only only numeric so let's call the only numeric character so and then for the next text box uh, the same the same steps or approach then double click then change the text change to key press then put the or paste the code the e dot uh, handle that uh, e dot handle equals only numeric ASCII so character so it will only accept the numeric value so let's uh, try to run the program and then uh, input the character alphabetical char or alphabetical character so it will pop you up uh, that I uh, should uh, input the numeric only so it it will not allow you to input any character aside from the numbers or the numeric so let's let's say 10 so it will allow you since it is a numeric value uh, enter second number 20 so it will calculate you into the result to 30 so 10 uh, sum of 10 and 20 is equal to 30 so if we put the uh, value here with let's say dot it will not allow you so alphabetical for the letters only you can input the numeric value that's how uh, validate for the entries to allow only the numeric value so let's 
try the another one uh, for the let's say uh, if we want to input only the character then we have to uh, have this function the only character so let's copy this and paste this to the module code so let's paste the function the public function so it will allow this uh, function will only allow you to input in the text box uh, only the characters from A to Z characters let's uh, only car let's copy this code and paste and paste here in the key press uh, let's say we let's uh, comment this first then call the function of the only character uh, for the second field comment it and put in the key press uh, properties then let's try if we can uh, input the only character let's say we have to input the uh, character from A to Z so we can input the A, B, Z, A, B, C, D until Z if we going if we input the numeric or numbers it will not allow you it should not allow you so one so characters only it, it wouldn't allow me to input numbers since we uh, disallow the numeric values to be inputted in this text box so that's that's uh, how to validate uh, the entries for numbers and characters so that's all for today's tutorial so thank you for watching guys if you like this video let's uh, give me a thumbs up and please also consider subscribing to my youtube channel the kgp tutorial and if you like this video uh, please also share it to your friends